Nina Kondrovich, uh, you, what, what do you think about this? I mean, in, in terms of the US taking uh, a side in this uh, conflict? I certainly this, uh, don't think this is about taking sides. Any kind of diplomacy that has to be, that's realistic has to be based in reality. And the reality is, as everybody knows but pretends not to know, is Jerusalem is in fact the capital of Israel. I'm sitting half a kilometer from the Knesset. There's absolutely no question this is the capital of Jerusalem, of, of Israel. And the world has pretended to not know that, though they do in fact know it. And a diplomacy that's based in fantasy uh, has no chance of success. And I think President Trump is saying we can't, you know, pretend we can't uh, make believe anymore. And he's, reckon, he's calling out that the emperor has no clothes. This is actually restores U.S. credibility because, first of all, he's fulfilling a promise, <laughs> even though that promise, <laughs> though that promise is not popular. Uh, Noor, thank you for your laughter. Uh, uh, let me just uh, make a final point here. The Palestinians so far have been shown one thing: they can say no, no, no and the pressure will only mount on Israel. Trump is breaking that cycle, and that is indeed why the Palestinians have continued to say no. Okay,